All right, here we go. Round number one. Uh, emote. Mo I guess I'll do emote if the mods. Uh, um, there we go. Yeah, let's go emote mode only. All right. Audio chat. See you guys on the other side. There we go. All right. Plays D4. Let's play A6 like a proper boss. Um, play C6. Let's play our Karo Khan setup with A6. Usually a valuable, valuable tempo down the road. Who's this? Tateshon? Okay, let's play um, E6 here. I guess I'll go knight d7. Okay, let's go bishop b4. Use the double b's here. If 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 she takes, I take with c pawn and play rook c8. And already a6 is very valuable. No knight b5s, no bishop b5. So a very, very useful move. I'm gonna go back at b4, I'll drop back. I think this weakens the pawn structure. So feeling pretty good. I've got knight f6, knight e4 also. It's a very, very good position. Let's go here. Queen kind of misplaced as well. All the pieces for white, a little bit misplaced. And after b4, bishop c7, bishops are very, very well placed as well. So should be pretty good here. Should be a pretty good position objectively. Can't complain. Country music is a little bit too slow for me. Let me change the song. Mambo. Yeah, Mambo number five is good. Bump, 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 bump. Bum, bum, bum. Goes 95. Now I could trade some pieces here, like Bishop C3. There's also 94. Take 690. I mean, this should be winning somehow. But you know what? Hmm. I don't want to, hmm, I don't, ah, what do I do? Wait, okay, stop, stop overdoing it and just think. Um, 95, bishop e2. Okay, why am I thinking so long? This is like the first game. Why am I losing my mind? Um, so 94, queen d1, bishop e2, 92, 94, queen d1, bishop c3. Looks fine. 94, queen e1. 94, queen e1, bishop e2, queen e2. Takes, 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 rook b1. There are multiple ways to play this. This is the problem. I don't know which one's best. Like, I'm just gonna. Eh, 94, there might be not. Okay, whatever. Just play simple chess. Oh, okay, let's just play simple. Okay, let's just. Yeah, I'm just gonna play simple chess here. This is stupid. I'm, I'm way overthinking it. Way, way, way overthinking it. Now, I take with a knight, no c4s. Maybe I should have taken with a queen, because there was queen g4 that she missed. But I guess I'll castle now. And once I get the knight to c4, I should be doing very, very well here. Once I get the bastion with knight c4, now, I mean... Now it starts to fall apart very quickly. So I'm gonna get B5, lock the uh, pawn structure on the on the queen side. I've got a golden horse here, and very very good position. She goes A4, but I think the problem is now I, I think I can even play Queen C6 to go after this pawn, and she's got to go like Rook B1. I'm just gonna slowly play B6, go after the pawn A4, and eventually it should be winning pretty cleanly. Go here, guard the pawn so I can... I mean, I could have also just taken and gone back and run the A pawn up the board too, but whatever. Okay, rook A1. Okay, I think actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to go rook B8, rook B7, and like rook C8. I'm going to try to win this in a very skillful positional way for you guys at home. So you can see a, a skillful positional win. Wait, did I just blunder some, like, bishop h6? No, I, I guess I have here an f6. Yikes, okay. Um, Let's just go here. I, I, I Queen g3 is actually kind of really scary. I could get, like, ice skater. Okay, now I'm just going to start pushing the p up the board.
Bum, bum. Okay, I'll just keep pushing the P. I'm going to use this outside pass pawn to win the game eventually. Yeah, I just keep pushing the P up the board. And I think he's basically going to be unable to stop me from pushing P. I'm just going to go here, A2, and Rook, Rook, B1. Actually, let's stop this. I mean, I'm sure H6 doesn't do anything, but why do I want to allow some some weird stuff happening on the G file? There's no need when I can just keep pushing like A2. Now I've got Rook, B1 or Rook, B2. This should be pretty easy. Go here, guard the pawn, Queen, B5, Rook, B1. Pretty easy here. Go here, Rook B1. Also, I played H6, so there's Lufthansa for the king here. So after Rook B1 takes, takes, it just loses because I, I, I have the escape square or the escape, escape hatch. So you get the winning game number one, one up, one down, and let's keep going. One up, one down. There we go. Okay, emote off. There we go. Okay. So, all right, we got the, um, yeah, we, we got the, uh, yeah, we, we got the win. One up, one down. So far, so good. Um, H6 was a fantastic resource. I mean, I, I don't know if it was necessary. We got the winning game number one. Let's see who else is playing. Let's watch Gucci, Reza, Ferrugia. What? Wait, what? Wait, let me refresh. Can you no longer watch games live? Oh, you, oh, you can no longer watch games live. Wow. No, no, no. I, I, you can't watch games live anymore. Yet again, another byproduct of, of all the Kramnik stuff. Um, yeah, I have to go to events now. Yeah, you can't, you can't even watch events live. You're, you're slowly seeing like the destruction. You're seeing, you're seeing like the slow destruction of uh, online chess is what I feel like. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, so we'll watch it here, I guess, and I'll change the scene, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah. Let me put this up top here. Yeah. So here we go. Is that like chess.com and mini to Kramnik being true or being being right? I mean, wait, Ferruja draws in round one against 2514. Uh oh, Ferruja draws at 2500. One of the greatest chess players in the world draws against a 2500 in round number one. Draws against a, draws against say a 2500. Yep. Cheating Tuesdays, right? As as uh, cheating Tuesdays as Kramnik would call it, right? Okay, let's see what else we have. Um, let's keep going. Let's see. Pravian is playing against a 2500. Pravian, by the way, also struggling here to, to win this game. Um, after B3 and C4, White's probably not losing here. So Pravian also struggling to beat a 2500. Let's see. Bishop E3. Um, let's see. Um, probably just check it. Bishop E3 back. I don't like C4, by the way, but it's still a draw. Bishop d4. Move. Bishop d2. What is bishop f4? <laughs> now it's 2,500 blunders. Oh no, province losing. Oh no, province losing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no's big oh no's. Pravi loses to 2500. Oh my gosh. Wow. So Gucci Reza draws 2500. Pravi and loses to 2500 round number one. Um Okay, what else do we have? Uh by the way, another guy, Snap Bahal, is 2950 playing against 2500 here. This is actually a draw with perfect play. Another 2500 who's hanging on. Now I assume Sinop is gonna get to Rook and Knight versus Rook and win this. But nonetheless, um, yeah, we're getting a rookie knight versus rook. Uh, so let's see. Can um, can Sanal, Sanal win the the win versus the twenty five hundred? Um. Okay. Let, let, you said hide completed games. Okay. There we go. Oh, by the way, Makinev also twenty twenty five hundred is losing. Twenty five hundred is beating Dennis Dennis Makinev, who's twenty five twenty nine forty six is losing to twenty five hundred. Oh no. Oh no, a 2500, uh, Clement Ritza beats uh, Dennis McEnough. Wow, the 2500s are on fire today, right? Jeez, um, the 2500s are on big fire. Um, let's see if S Sonal can win this game. Um, it's Rook and Knight versus Rook. Yeah. 
Ja. Ah, he blunders. Okay, so so finally we get a blunder. One of the 2500s that actually loses. Okay, uh, I guess it means round two starting, so let's go back here. All right, you guys. Um, let's keep going. Round number two, let me change the scene. Back title Tuesday. Okay, let's go to emote only. Emote only. There we go. All right. Um, okay, let's play knight of three. Keep it simple. Um, I'm going to play e3, so on bishop f5, I always keep bishop a3 in, in, in store. I think I'll still play c4 with bishop a3. This is what I lost to Georg Meyer in yesterday. Um, now let's go to c3, keep it simple. At least queen a5. I think queen c1 is fine, so I just intend to trade. So it's take with a knight or with the rook. Takes with a knight. I mean, this looks very slightly sus. Um, I guess I'll go here to hit the bishop, maybe. Let's go b4. So if he takes, I'm going to take and go rook b1. And Oh, wait. This is just a blunder. Oh, wait. This is just a blunder. What am I doing? But maybe not a bad blunder. I thought I'd just rook b1, but he goes queen e7. Very poor. I should have just played a3 too, not d3, but whatever. What am I doing, actually? What the heck am I doing this game? I mean, I don't want to take, but I kind of have to take. Let's go here in castles. This is very bad. But at least I get castle. I mean, I'm down a pawn, but I can just play the position at least. The big problem for me here is that I have... Um, is that basically I have the knights versus the... Uh, let's go here. I don't know why I played rook b1. That's a silly move. But I have queen a4 maybe. Maybe just h3. I should have gone queen a4 right away. I think I'll play h3. Still have knight a4. Still have queen a4. It's just so bad, bad for me because of the knights versus the bishops. Or the knight and bishop versus... I'm going to go here. Maybe rook c2. I'm, I need to move fast. That's what I need. I need to pick up the speed here and just keep going. Let's go like queen f1. Goes back to e5. I mean, I feel like I should have... I guess I'll go here to hold the square. I'm going to need to move fast, though. I'm going to need to pick up the speed. Queen e7. Okay, so he's trying to go like knight c5, I guess. Drop back. Not good. I 
I should have played Rook B3 too. I don't know why I did this. This is actually terrible. I guess I'll go here. I mean, I have Rook G1. That's... Oh, I just blundered this too. What the heck? Yeah, I just... Oh my god, I just... Yeah, I just blunder this game away. I blunder this too. Ah, so stupid. There's no stalemate, is there? Ah, uh, there's no stalemate. Where's my queen?
I think I drew this. Somehow I saved this game. Somehow I saved that game. That was so bad. That's so bad. Terrible. Terrible, terrible play. Terrible. Yeah. Kramnik was right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Evan can't win up three pawns. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Get, round, round number three will be starting pretty soon. Um, yeah. 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 You think Kramnik is scared? Uh, Kramnik is scared. Um, scared Magnus away from titles. So he said, "Well, Magnus is a, has an event coming up." Yeah, that's why Fabi Fabi isn't playing. Yeah, I mean, I, I told you guys what I think. Like, like regard regardless of um, regardless of this game itself, um, he was clearly a cheater. Chess.com will look at will look at the account. They'll basically determine it. I mean, they are the ultimate authority. They make their decisions. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 what it is. But as I've said before, my general attitude towards all of this. Um, uh what what my general attitude towards all of this is pretty simple everybody should be on camps that much is very clear to me whether it's possible for chess.com to enforce that where you have an event like this with 570 players where everybody can be on a camera whether it's streaming or on zoom call or whatever the technology is um like that is the big question mark but i do think that for title tuesday at some point you're gonna have to have all players on title tuesday or else you're gonna end up with situations like what's happened today where already like already if you're looking at this event uh why do i think so oh i didn't say he is uh, that's what chad is saying i mean it was, i mean it's it's what it is chess.com makes their decisions but the bottom line is that i think um i think it's really critical um that everybody is on camps because already like in round number one you saw like ali reza one of the best players one of the best players in the world what like number one in blitz or number two whatever he is um uh uh wait i'm gonna go c5 maybe e6 i think this is actually a real opening almost now um, but what I was saying is like Ali Reza draws 2,500 Pravi and loses to 2,500 um, in round one. Like it, it is legitimately like a, a question. Somehow I realized I've just ended up in some kind of really weird um, English opening out of nowhere. Let's go E5. Okay, it goes Knight C2. I guess I'll go Bishop C5, hit the pawn. Oh, wait, is this... Okay, so today's the day that I'm playing all the FMs, right? That's what it, oh, bishop e3, I just missed that. What am I doing? I guess I'll go here and trade the trade the bishops and play like d6 maybe. But yeah, you've seen a lot of draws. You've seen you've seen some people like Pravi and Luce and all very barely beat a 2500 and Rook and Knight versus Rook. Um, so it is something that probably is something that does need to be addressed for sure. Uh, I'm gonna go Bishop E6, Knight D7, and Castles here, and keep it pretty straightforward and to the point. What is unclear to me, though, in in general terms, as far as Kramnik's latest post, um, I can Castle and play Rook D8, or I can play a Bond Cloud. Bishop E6 and King E7 is a move, but this looks kind of scary. Like here, Rook D1, King E7, B4. It maybe is okay, but do I want to really meme or do I just want to play good chess? And I think it's better to play good chess than meme, because I'm playing I'm playing an FM, and it, it, like if I lose this game, that's it's going to be more of the Kramnik was right, Kramnik was right, Kramnik was right, and I'm pretty sure my opponent this game uh, is completely clean. Or right, so yeah, so what I was also saying about Kramnik separately was I was saying that like what's unclear from what he posted. Is whether he's referring to his games against Hans, he's referring to games he played later, or the first round game he played against an Indian FM in the qualifier yesterday. It's really murky. Like it's really not clear what um what wh what he's referring to. So this should be too logical. I think I'll play here to hit the pawn, of course. Only problem is I can't develop the knight to d7, which is the optimal square. That's the only problem I have here. Although b3, maybe I have d5 and then some knight c6, possibly. Actually, b3, maybe I can just go knight six anyway, and then d5. Because if knight a4, I just drop back to a7. So it's probably okay. Let's go knight c6. 
Probably I'll go rooks. I have d5 here, which is fine, but it's going to simplify the position. I don't really want to simplify, so I'm going to go rook c8 instead. Just keep it very, very simple. d5, b5, both big threats here. Okay, let's go b5. Just open up the position here. Actually, if it takes, maybe I can go knight e7 and go after d's knights. Maybe I have knight e7, maybe. Actually, I think I do have knight e7. Maybe even actually takes. I have knight b8, takes, takes. Oh, there is bishop b7, queen c3. Probably. Oh. Okay, hard to judge. So cb5, knight b8. b8, 6, knight a6. Bishop b7 only move. Queen c3, bishop a6, queen c2. Bishop c8, queen c8. Should be good. Takes here, here, here. Bishop b7, queen c3. Queen c3 is no good. Okay, so she takes. Now, I take with a rook or I take with the, with the queen. If I take with the queen, there's knight b4. So I assume I take with the rook. Because before I just eat the juice, or if takes, takes, she loses one of the horses. So I think this should be much better. Maybe close to winning, actually. Oh, does she have 95? Wait, I didn't see that. It's a good move. I can't, I mean, I guess I can just trade into the end game, rook d1. Rook... The end game is probably winning for me, but is it clean is the question. Takes, takes, takes. Queen d5 takes, rook c2, rook d1, king f8. Uh, that's probably the best. I mean, I can take c4. Taking on... Oh, no. Take c4, there's 97. What am I smoking? So I actually have to go for this then. I don't even have a choice. I can take c2, but then there's queen e5 with an ice skater. So I'll trade. Hit the pawn on a2. She goes a4, which I think is slightly wrong. So I think I can go b4 and king f8, king e7 now. So I go here. Actually, rook d1, king f8, rook e5 is maybe playable. But anyway, this, sh this should be winning eventually. Because I can play like... I think I go rook a8 to hold the pawn. Because then this rook remains active. Go here. Logical. Um, I'll go G6, maybe F5 somewhere in here. Okay, she plays G4, which looks wrong. There's H5. How do I do this? Rook D2 allows Rook C1. I think I'm going to go here and then bring the Rooks in. We'll go here to claim the lane. Then I go like Rook B6 and Rook C3. Yeah, I go here, and now I can activate the rook. Like, rook c3, big threat. F3. Trade or rook c6. This looks good. Because now I'm threatening to take and go here. Hmm. I could also just delay with like king d7 or something. I think I'm gonna delay. Because now I, I don't think she can stop me. I get rook c3, I win the pawn, I should be winning the game. QTC 419 just subscribed. Yeah, it's just winning. A5, A4, A3, pretty straightforward. We got the win. We moved to two and a half out of three. Good stuff. Can't complain. Thank you so much to QTC for the um, uh, QTC for the four months. Thank you to Stockwork for 14, Bo Jennings for the 34, Jerry Rack for the 18, Bo Chess for the 40 months, Brendy for the three, and Hoonish as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to um, uh, thank you so much to K, uh, KPC Go for the prime. Thank you to Martin Saker for the tier one. Uh, Wu Chi Main for the Prime, Ryan SRT with the Prime, the Val Ru God with the Prime, they need a Sound Lab with the Prime, and Blue Dry with the Prime. Thank you to CPT 1PR 1CEE. -E. Uh, thank you to MSK for the Prime, they need Shasta for the Bits as well. Also, thank you to Adriana Palau for the host with 33. Thank you so much to Adriana Palau. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. Not to be that guy, but Levy's not an emote mode only. Really? Really? Yeah. Thank you to Rivo for the Prime Day WT jab. Appreciate it. 13,000 viewers. I don't know what our viewer count is, but yes, this is one of the problems. And like, that's not even, that's not even about Levy at the end of the day. Um, that's not even really about Levy. It's just about the world we live in now. That's all it is. Neither is Bach. What do you guys want me to say? What do you guys want me to say? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't know what you want to say to Katie Dub. I mean, if you want to complain, complain to chess.com. They clearly don't have enough people watching and dealing with it. Thank you, Namas Gallery, for the 35 months. Appreciate it. Oh, right. I can't watch the games here, so I have to go to events again. Right. This is, this is becoming very cumbersome. Like, I have to go to events again. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me pull it up. There we go. Let's see who's still playing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, King E4. I guess the idea is F5, G6, or King E5, King E6. Here. Thank you to M. Vagusta for the uh, 15 months. I guess we're to M. Vagusta, or yeah, for the 16 months. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it's just the um, it's just the world we live in, you guys. What do you, what do you want me to say? Yeah. Isn't AI detecting cheaters on chess.com? I don't know what their, uh, I don't know what the, the format is. I have no idea. Um, so. Still quite a few games going around. Three change the scene. Yeah, I'll change the scene. Sorry. You're right. Um, yeah, you're right. Let me, let me change it. Um, let me click on, click on a game. Yeah. Change the stream layout. Exactly. We need a brand Brahmins noodles, bro, for the prime. So three minutes of ads. Exactly. Yeah. I am on two and a half points out of three. We're going to have round number four next move. Yeah. I mean, this is one of the issues. I mean, at the end of the day, one of the issues, if I'm being honest with, um, with, with, you know, chess.com instituting these changes and basically not having enough people to moderate or, or, or deal with the situation. Um, it is a big issue. It's a big issue. Thank you to GNA limbo for the five months. Thank you to GNA limbo. Appreciate it. Legitimately an issue. Um, so. King E3 should be winning to guard the pawn. Or apparently that was wrong. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I don't know. Apparently it was wrong. I think it's supposed to belly up for the five. I think it's supposed to belly up. Okay, F2, F1 is just winning the game here. Okay, Don Shanko wins. Round number four should be starting pretty soon. What about Ben Feingold resigning from US Chess? Um, I don't, what do you want me to say? Okay, so game four starting, so I have to close this. Okay, game four, next game. All right, let's go to emote mode as, as always. Let me change the scene, of course. Hi, <laughs> playing, playing Levy in round four. Okay, that's pretty funny. Okay, that's pretty funny. I saw someone joking about it, but that's pretty funny. Okay. Well, at least we at least we know for sure now that I'm playing um, playing a legitimate player, right? Okay, Levy plays G6. I mean, I don't know what is Levy doing. I'm just gonna blow him off the board now. Um, Knight C6 is not correct. I mean, Levy does not play the modern. Last I checked. Yeah, this is pretty terrible. H3. I've got to stop Bishop G4 basically. Castle play rook d1. I think um I actually mis misplayed the move order sequence there. Cause I think he I think the move order I played here at Castles was actually fine. So rook d1 because after knight b6 bishop b5. This is a little bit sketchy what I did. Um it's not correct. Goes there, I'll play rook d1, of course. Just queen e1. He goes he goes queen e8, which doesn't look right either. I can play c4 and just play this like some kind of um I think I'm just gonna go c4. And like b3, bishop b2, or knight a3 or something like this. I mean this is already very, very bad for black. Very, very bad. Um, he goes bishop a6. Now, b3 is fine. I mean, it's not the only move I can play. I can also go knight a3, which is kind of interesting. But I think b3 looks fundamentally correct to play here, so it's what I'm going to do. Goes a4, I expect that. Knight c3 or bishop Bishop e3 hangs a tactic. So I go knight c3, takes, takes, bishop c4, rook a, bishop e2, rook e8, bishop d1, rook f8 is fine. Yeah, this is fine. I'm just making sure that bishop c4 doesn't work. Takes, takes, takes. I have rook a8, bishop b2, rook e8. Takes, 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 and knight d1. Just making sure the tactics don't work for him. Because at the IM level, one of the big differences between the between the different types of players is, um, like, the big difference is, like, some players are very positional. Other players are very tactical. So, like, when you look at a player like Levy, 
He's very positional, or, or not positional, what am I saying? He's very, he's very tactical, but then when you look at a player like Eric Rosen, for example, Eric Rosen is, is very, very positional. And so when you play against some of these IMs, you have to know generally what their strengths are. And so like Levy, he's all about the tactics, but his general positional understanding is pretty bad, relatively speaking, of course, because I don't want someone to take that and clip it out of context. Um, relatively speaking, whereas like Eric is the exact opposite. The reason that Levy's blitz is generally higher than Eric Rosen is because when you play blitz a lot and your taxes are very sharp, it's easier to pick up rating points and get the rating a lot higher because blitz is much more about intuition and feel. Whereas when you play um, when you play more positional, you can't you can't really exploit the positional edges as much. And a good example of that is when I played Magnus actually in the um, in the bullet chest championship where in the bullet chest championship magnus and i in our match magnus went into a lot of queenless middle game sort of like end games and he wasn't actually able to outskill me in those end games so that's one of the biggest reasons that i think i won the match is magnus kept going for these end games and he wasn't able to actually prove the advantages whereas in a slow game he does better and so it's a perfect example of why tactics generally matter quite a bit more than um tactics matter much more in um one second tactics matter much more when it comes to um when it comes to uh what am i saying when it comes to blitz blitz and bullet because magus just whenever we went into end games i was making the moves intuitively very fast and he just could not prove any sort of advantage whatsoever i'm already winning in this game by the way levy is a horrible bishop on a6 terrible pawn structure with these two pawns on c7 c6 knight d4 also looming um it's already pretty pretty much just gg why not goes rook b i mean i could play knight d4 here but again he's just hoping for some silly cheese but i'm just gonna take and go c5 and yeah it's time to just resign classic fossil good night all right pretty nice win here in round number four um goes a3 sort of a spite push uh, i'm just gonna go here if I go bishop c3, he does have knight d5, and he can at least try to pretend because he gets a bishop. But here he's losing just a clean knight or a clean rook uh, for, for no reason. So pretty clean win, basically 20 move game. Nice win. We get to the break very quickly, and it's all good. So yeah, it's, it's all, all pretty pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, that's also why, like when you talk about um, when you talk about classical versus like rapid and blitz, that's why in in like classical, Eric Rosen is I think I think Eric wrote maybe the peaks might be close but Eric Rosen I think generally is higher rated um Eric Rosen is generally higher rated than um than Levy and classical but in Blitz Levy is very clearly a superior player there's no doubt about it um so yeah it's it, it just varies like it, it, the type of play but also when you talk about defense positional versus tactical that's exactly why in that game against Levy I was very positional in that game I tried very hard just avoid tactical nonsense keep it very positional and that's that's why that's why you have to know your opponent very well now of course we have to reopen the tab again we have to go to chess.com events um to show the next game um I don't I don't even know how Levy's supposed to do a video on that game honestly because it was just it's not really a game even um so okay who else is still playing Vita? Vita is playing as Kravsev. Okay, top game of the round. I think they're both on three out of three. Uh, takes just knight f3. Um, takes knight f3, d3, rook d1. Just better for white. Clearly better. Why did I beat Levy? Because it's a um, because it's a money event. A lot of money on the line. And it's not it's not a friendly game, you guys. It's not some friendly 3-0 game. Oh, right. I'm on the wrong scene. Because I have to always change the scene, too. Yeah, I always have to change the scene because now I can't watch the games live. So I literally have to flip between the two scenes. No, I mean, it's a, if it's a fun game, I mean, who cares? But, like, it's it's not a fun game. It's a game with money on the line. Um, yeah. Just king e2, king d3 here. Yeah. Oh, we'll see what we get here. King e2 played. Okay, rook e8 is king d3. It's better for white, but it's not actually clear cut. King d3, rook e1. Maybe it's still a draw. Rook d8, king e2. Probably still a draw. Yeah. Money on the line, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it's a classical game, it's completely different. Yeah. Okay, what do we get? Maybe king f6. Okay, rook e8, knight f3, rook d8 back. Probably this game will be a draw, is my guess. Probably. No, we're on three and a half out of four. Isn't $1,000 nothing to you at this point? 
That's that's a bad attitude to have in life, you guys. Bad attitude. Game ends in a draw. Okay, so they draw. Move on. Okay, well, let's see. What else do we have? Um, not many very exciting games. Have I ever won title Tuesday after an early draw? Of course I have. Obviously. Um, Rook C2, probably Rook F2, maybe G5, G6 incoming here. Should be very good for white. Also, for people who are wondering, we are going to be covering the... Um, we are going to be covering the uh, Speed Chess Championship match later between Magnus Carlsen and, of course, um, Wesley So. It's going to be in about like an hour... Um, hour... It's like, what, hour and a half or two hours from now? Something like that. So, yeah. Okay, Rook H5, Rook E5, King B4... Rookie seven, B five, A five, maybe D seven, Knight F six, rookie eight. Yeah. Wesley has a chance. Um, I think Wesley has a chance, but I expect Magus to punish him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I expect I expect Wesley to punish him. I do. Um, it's four hours from now. Okay, sorry. Starts at two thirty Central. Okay. Levy is raging right now. I don't care, you guys. Levy, Levy does Levy. You guys can try to bait or do whatever other nonsense to like get a rise out of us as streamers, but that's not my jam. Um, okay, what else? Just a bunch of random games. Nothing specific going on. Oh, E6. E6 was a fork. Wait. Okay, now Black will win with King E6. Yeah. King D4. Should be, yeah, Black's in a winner. Knight three, Rook H1. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of trolls and baits. I mean, that's that's one of the biggest reasons I actually enjoy streaming on Kick more than uh, more than Twitch these days. Because of the trolls and the people trying to get a rise out of me, it's much, much less. Like, it, it's like on, on Twitch, I have to deal with it nonstop. Like, everyone's always saying something stupid all the time. So. Okay. Axel Bachman just blundered this game away, by the way. This is a classic draw and Rook and Pawn endgame with King E2. Just, but he allowed Rook D1, and now he's going to lose the game. Okay, are all the games over? All the games are over. So we're on the break, I think, after round number four. Should be on the break. Wait. Wait, round five start. Wait. Whoa, whoa, wait. That was not a six-minute break. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Wait, whoa, wait, wait a second. That, that, wait, wait, wait a second. That's not a six. That's not, there's no six-minute break? Did chess.com just change the rules again? Play E3. Okay, we got to go emote mode only. Uh, there's supposed to be a six-minute break. I was going to do Puzzle Rush and take my break. Um, yeah, that's that's no good. That's no good, you guys. Play D4. No good. I'll play an end game against this guy. Could have played knight d2 as well. Okay, take. So I guess I'll go knight d2 here. I'm going to play a3 maybe. He might go a5 here. He goes bishop e7 logical. I'll just play b4. Span on the queen side. Maybe rook c1 somewhere. Maybe just takes, takes. There should have been a six minute break there. I don't. I don't. I don't know why there was no six minute break. There should have been a break there. I know I did one puzzle rush, but it was definitely not six minutes for sure. Let's drop back. That's really not good, actually. Because there should have been a six minute break. That's just how it works. And there's no six minute break, so. Whatever. Um I can play knight b3. I can also go like queen b3 and just play an end game. Um I was ready to play an end game anyway, so let's play knight b3. Like I was ready for him to take on c4 and play an end game, so let's just play an end game anyway. We actually have a mirror, by the way. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Although my knight's on b3 versus c6, so I have more jump, jumpy jump. I think I'm gonna play. 
How do I do this? I know I'm better, but it's... Soy Capitan, Soy Capitan. I'm going to take and go Bishop C5. I'm going to try to argue my Knight on B3 is better than the Knight on F6. I have Jump versus this Knight. I am better here, but I don't know if it's like, it's much. I'm going to go Rook A1 and A4 probably. Now I have Knight C5 and... Takes with a Bishop, wow. Um... Take with a pawn. Oh, I just blundered. Oh, shoot. Did I just blunder? It's kind of a blunder. It's not the end of the world. But I have bishop g4, maybe? I can also just drop back, I guess. No, I misplayed this horribly. No, I misplayed this. Um, I mean, I have Bishop G4 or something as well. I have to play this endgame. I mean, I've got the two Bs, but this, this is probably a draw with perfect play. At least I have a slight imbalance where I have a four on three in the center. So he can't easily get a pass pawn, but it's going to be very hard to win this. I'm going to have to play this endgame like a Magnus Carlsen would. Go here, attack the knight. Go here, I guess. Like, bishop c4, I think I can trade and run the king in. Go here and run the king, I guess. Gonna go for it now. Like this, do I try to pretend my name is Robert James Fisher? Is the next question. I feel like this is somehow winning for me. I don't know why, but I feel like this is somehow winning. Maybe I'm insane, but I feel like I'm gonna get a chance to win. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend my name is Robert James Fisher because Robert James Fisher, the former world champion, is very good at playing bishop versus knight. He was always good at proving that the bishop is better than a knight in the end game. Or did I just blunder this game? Oh my god, did I just blunder? <laughs> oh great, I just blundered, didn't I? I didn't even see this. Oh great, I just blunt. Ah, uh, so stupid. I just blundered the game away. Unreal. My king is too slow getting over. I guess I have to go this way. Yeah, I threw this game so hard. Oh, I just missed this completely. How did I miss that? That's so bad. Yeah, this is just losing. I just missed knight c1, knight a2. Yeah. I threw this game so bad. I missed knight c1. Yeah, I just blundered knight c1 like a total idiot. It was unreal. 
Yeah, e4 is so stupid. If I go king f1, it's just better for me. I can't believe I blundered that. I just missed knight a2. Yikes, that was horrible. That was actually really horrible to blunder knight a2. Yeah, to, to blunder knight a2 is just un unbelievably poor. Yeah, if I go king f2, I mean, the reason I played e4 to stop f5, I was, I was originally going to play this, then I just thought I'd play e4 first to stop f5, and I just missed knight a2 completely. And I think it was just losing here, right? Is there some magic way I can keep this going? Oh, I could have played it this way, actually, which is better, but this must be losing, right? This must be losing. Maybe not. Still tricky, probably losing. No, I mean, that was so stupid to play e4. Just wasn't paying attention for one second. It was too much. This must be losing, though. It's weird the computer's not saying this is a clean loss. Nine and a half can still win, but, I mean, I'm not playing well today again. Second day in a row where I'm, I'm playing playing badly. 90% actually, no, no, he, he, he wasn't cheating. Don't, don't even say that. He wasn't cheating. I just missed one mover. That was not very hard. Yeah. No, I also, it was so stupid to trade the bishops, because, like, if I keep the two bishops on the board, I can never lose anyway. Like, I just tried to, I tried to basically, like, go for a little bit of a meme situation. Try to showcase a one type of end game rather than playing the best move. Like, here, if I go bishop d1, I can never lose. That's the bottom line. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, but this is the problem, you guys. But this is the problem with what's going on. I mean, like, this is the problem with what Kramnik is, uh, with, with, with all the stuff that's going on. It's now basically everyone's accusing everybody, and it's like it's a nonstop, nonstop, crazy, uh, insane show. It's just the reality. Yeah. But I am annoyed that it wasn't in, that they didn't have the break. I mean, I am going to ask them, like, why? Because that should be automated, no? I mean. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just not, it's not, not acceptable. Um, yeah. 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 Gonna have to play it play better to beat Magnus. No, 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 of course, obviously. Yeah. Alright, so let's let's keep going. Where where are we at? Um Yeah. Alright, um, still some games going. Let's see, let's now I have to pull this up again, change the scene. Um so last round get last game in round five. Rook versus Rook, of course. Let me change the scene. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I mean, yeah, seriously, bro. I, I didn't say that. Um, what, when did I say? I'm saying that chat was saying that they're, the chat were the ones saying the guy's cheating, not me. He wasn't cheating. Um, I'm actually fairly annoyed, though, because, like, all this stuff is really making it not fun, uh, just in general. Like, the, the fact that now, like, people are going around saying this about everybody, the fact that seemingly Title Tuesday has a lot of issues, and now it's like, it, it is true that anytime like, a 2,500 beats, like, a 2,900, immediately, it's like, the first thought is what Kramnik said, um, which has be become a serious problem. A serious, serious problem. Yeah. Like, even here, like, this is the other problem. So, like, also, if you look at the standings, it's like, now it's like, you look at the list, and you see, like, 2,600. This guy has a 2,600 blitz rating, and he's on 5 out of 5. And what's your first thought? Now, everyone's first thought, we know what everyone's first thought is going to be, uh, because it's just playing, playing out with everything that's going on. So, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not good. None of this is good. Let's, 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 let's be, let's be honest. This, this is not good for chess. Um, I'm going to play B4, E6, and D5, C5. Who's C4... I guess I'll take. Why not? I don't know if he's going to take with the pawn or the knight. Both are playable. Takes with the pawn. Okay, so I guess now... Let's play e6. Why not? Go here and castle my king out of the center of the board immediately. So I'll play rook a7 to guard the bishop. It's become a serious problem, though. It's become a very, very serious problem. Very serious problem. I think I'm going to play d6 here and then knight bd7, probably. 
Just because I don't want him to get E4 easily. Just want to go here. I had knight c6, knight a5 as well. He'll probably play like rook b1. Okay, goes queen c2. So I go here. This castle, of course. I, I do have queen a8 somewhere, maybe. Let's go queen a8 right away. Ah, but now, did I? No, wait. The, no, there's no rook b7. For a second, I thought I'd maybe made a serious blunder, but what I want to do here is the question. I think I'm going to go c5. Plays e5. Interesting. I guess I'll go... 98, maybe? Because if rook b7, I can just take with a rook, and I still guard against the knight g5 nonsense. It was rookie three. Strange move. Not definitely not the best move. I guess I'll take on d4. Uh do I have knight? Do I have some knight c7 here, maybe? Oh great. Did I just blund oh great. I think I blundered. Or did I? Bishop F3, Bishop F3, Rook C7 is still playable, but it's not great. D5, D5. Because now Bishop B5 somehow has this Rook C3, and I, I'm like actually just lost. I think I have to go Knight C7. It's like the only move. This is insane. I should have played Knight C7 right away, probably. Maybe. Yeah, because queen c7, I have bishop f3. I'm very lucky that I'm not actually lost here. Insane. Let's see what he does. It goes knight c4, so now I think I should have some play. Like knight d5's move, bishop c5 also. Wait, but bishop c5, there's knight g5. Wait. Okay, let's go here and attack the rook. And I'm going to go like rook c8 or something. I also have bishop c6 as well, which I kind of like just to hit the pawn on a4. As long as there's no knight g5, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to win the game. And there is an h5 because I just take. Let's go here. Pressure the C file. Wait, that's a blunder. Yeah, now I just have knight C3 and I, I win the rook and I should win the game. <sighs> Tough game. Wait. I just won a game. Why didn't I get any league trophies? Okay, whatever. Weird. Very, very weird. Yeah, very, very strange. All right, let's see. All right, I can't watch games. So let me open the window again. Um, okay, what else is there? Okay. Looks like Serana's winning here. Just like Rook F1, probably E5, E6. Oh, why is emo still on? Wait, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, wrong scene. I'm changing it again. Yeah, there we go. What would you do without the dramas? Ha ha ha. No, I mean, I, on the one hand, I get that it's all fun and games and everything, but it's it, it kind of really at some point becomes a little bit depressing, the whole thing. Uh, can people not have a good day? Of course people can. Of course people can. No, I I, I think I, what I said, I said it the other day, and I'll reiterate what I said before. I think that um, 
as far as the events that are closed, like the Chess Champions Tour or the Speed Chess Championship, where you have minimal matches, you have a lot of proctors, everybody's in Zoom with multi cams and everything else. Um, I, I feel pretty good. I, I don't believe there. I don't believe there's any cheating going on in those events. Um, but events that have like very large fields where not everybody is on cam and all these other things, I think there definitely is cheating going on. Absolutely, absolutely, I believe there's cheating going on. So yeah. So that that's the bottom line. Um, it, it's definitely an issue. I think for Title Two, at some point they're gonna have to have a policy where you can't win. You basically can't win prize money or, or something like that unless you're unless you have two cams. I, that's the bottom line. I, I think it's we're getting into a world where it's gonna be you have to be on cam because Title Two say there are a lot of players. Of course, they're five seventy, but it, you know Chess.com is a billion dollar company. If they if they can't if they can't have prize money terms requiring like cert, having certain tech or there aren't certain tech requirements, then I mean, what even is going on? So, yeah, Queen E3 should win here for white. Queen. Dude, was Queen H4 mate? Move. Does Vogidov not have good internet? That's very weird. Very, very strange. Strange stuff. Um, what else do we have? Provian still playing. Provian lost the game early against 2500. Yeah. Open a camera behind you, something else. Well, that's why I was saying, like, at some point, I think we're getting there. Like, I have done two cam in the past for Title Tuesday. Um, but, you know, at some point, like, I was doing it, and I'm like, everyone should do this, but no one no one actually started doing it like I did. So it's like, wait, why am I even doing the two cams at all? Because um, if you remember back when I was in California, I was doing the two cam um, pretty consistently. I, I was doing two cams for Title Tuesday just to sort of set a standard that everyone should follow and then it's like at some point no one no one's even trying to do it no one's even using camps so i'm like what's the point why do i even why do i even bother um so yeah anyway um andregan might have done that at some point too yeah uh, andregan might have been doing that at some point as well i'm not sure um okay what else do we have um okay what's well, winning here yeah Okay, probably G4, King H5. Okay, King H5, G5, G6. That's why it's winning. 2800 WIM, kind of high. Oh, right. Here we go again. Yeah, here we, here we go again, you guys. Here we go again. Yeah, exactly. Here we go again. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I mean... Yeah, because WIM can't be 2800 Blitz, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yikes. Okay. 